Hi, I'm Raji Hassan. I'm a teacher, a writer, and an actor, and a part-time hoofer. No, I'm kidding. That's a joke. Um, what's a hoofer? I'm a teacher, a writer, and an actor exploring human connection. I got some spit on my lip. And I'm easily distracted. I believe that we're a culture that is unfortunately plagued by fear and disconnection, and on this show we ask, how can we connect again? I want to share tools that have helped me in the hopes that they will help you, and I pray we grow together. This is the Raji Hassan Show. Today, today on Raji, today I want to talk about courage. It's one of my absolute favorite things to talk about because we so often misunderstand what it is. It's not a feeling. That person is so courageous. What that means is that person probably often feels fear and confronts it. Courage is not a feeling. The feeling that accompanies courage is actually fear. So when you feel afraid, you are perfectly set up to be courageous. I actually, I actually think of courage as a process. I think of it as a process. It's, oh, I need to do something frightening. Oh, I'm going to make the decision to do the frightening thing. I feel fear. I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. Oh, I did it. And then comes this intense relief and sense of elation. Mostly. Mostly. Or a deep sense of regret. But that whole process is what I consider courage to be. Courage is a process. So if you find yourself feel, feeling fear all the time, but then fear tells you, well, you can't be courageous. You're afraid right now. Look at you. You're afraid. And you find yourself believing that, believing that you cannot be courageous because you feel fear. That's a lie. You actually get to tell fear, no, I can choose to be courageous right now because I feel fear. We know what courage is because of the experience of fear. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. We know what courage is because of the experience of fear. If we never felt fear, we would never, ever know courage. If we never felt joy, other way around, if we never felt sadness, we wouldn't know joy. If we never felt anger, we wouldn't know happiness. The extent of the full experience of one thing allows us the extent of its positive opposite. The extent of the full experience of one negative thing allows us the full extent of the experience of its positive opposite. That's my belief. And so when you feel fear, when you feel great terror, when you decide to make a bold, risky, emotional choice that directly connects you to your inherent created worth. Not a worth that you're making up on your own. But the worth with which you were created to move about the world. When you make a risky, bold choice to move from that place and you feel fear you are perfectly set up to make a courageous choice. Courage is an action. Courage is the brave choice in the face of fear. And what allows you to make that brave choice in the face of fear 
is grace. It's grace. Grace being, if this turns out to be the wrong choice, I will be okay. Grace being, I do not have to make this choice on my own. I don't have to do this alone. I can surround myself with the safety of my creator. Or, if you don't believe in a creator, what can you do then? Perhaps surround yourself with the safety of safe authority figures in your life. I believe that this stuff is most powerful when it comes from our Creator. But not everybody believes in a Creator. And so in that situation, surround yourself with powerful, accepting authority figures. You see, all of these things all of these deep, powerful, risky choices become possible when true, accepting, shameless authority figures in our lives tell us that they're going to love us anyway. And for me, for me, the ultimate authority figure is my divine creator. And so that permission comes from something greater than Raji. And so I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about fleeting external validation from things that make us feel successful. I'm talking about deep, powerful, profound acceptance from the authority figure of your life. So if it's not your divine creator, who is it? When that deep, profound authority figure accepts you, grace enters the situation which allows you to make a bold risky choice because you know you will be accepted anyway so when you are faced with a bold risky choice and you feel fear and you employ the bravery to make the courageous choice because there is grace knowing that the authority figure in your life accepts you anyway you can take a leap off of that cliff. Courage is not a feeling. It's an action. Let's do a breath exercise. Close your eyes. And I want you to picture yourself in the midst of a situation where you need to make a courageous choice. And I want you to zero in on where fear is manifesting in your physical body. Is it a tightness in the chest, in the throat? Typically it's tightness in the center of the body. Throat, chest, stomach, where is fear manifesting? And I want you to picture that authority figure who profoundly, deeply accepts you in any state, tell you, you are okay. And let's breathe in on five, out on five with the you are okay. Place your hand on your low breath center. If you need to breathe out, do it now and in two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, you're okay, out, two, three, four, five. Do 
do you feel more ready to make a courageous choice? Let me know. I'll see you next week.